You might have been asked to put an RFID tag on the items you're sending to your big box suppliers. This could be Walmart, Target, or Kohl's. And with that, you might be encountering some issues, such as verifying that your tags are properly GS1 encoded to prevent chargebacks, verifying that you're sending the correct number of items and tags, and verifying that you received the correct number of tags. Hi, my name is Oscar. I'm a developer here at Portable Tenali Solutions. We are a leading data capturing solutions company for over 22 years. And we've created an application that allows you to do this with little to no RFID knowledge. We call that app GS1 Verify. And today, I will be demoing how easy it is to do this in our MC33 Zebra handheld reader with the application preloaded in. The application has two different modes to scan to validate tags or to scan shipment that is going out to your customers. I'll go through how to validate a tag and show you how quickly it is and how efficient it is now. The first step is to scan a barcode of the item that you're going to verify the tag of. So in this case, we're going to scan the barcode. We're going to put the number of tags that we're expecting. I'm expecting to scan nine. Press enter. We hit scan tags. And then we scan all the items that we're shipping out. After you get visual confirmation that you scan the tags you want, you click validate tags. And you'll see in your screen whether there's an error, invalid tags, or you're good to sync your data to the cloud. We're going to sync the data to the cloud. Great. Now, if we're going to ship it out, we'll just click on the shipping application. Again, we're going to scan our UPC, put in our order number, and then place the expected number of tags we're planning to scan. In this case, nine. We're going to hit scan tags again, and we're going to scan the tags. Or in this case, the items that we're shipping out. Validate the number of tags we scan. Hit validate tags. No errors. Record scans. And the data gets synced to the cloud. If you were to find an incorrect tag, you could use the Geiger feature in the application to find that item or that bad tag and remove it from your shipment to prevent chargebacks. In the next video, you'll see how easy it is by step by step walking through the application and also show you how to access the data in the cloud and export it for your own records. That's essentially the handheld demonstration, uh, just to show you some cloud functionality. Once you click on each of these, it's going to show your uh, scans related to that particular UPC at that date and time. One thing you can do is also use filters. If you did want to filter based on a certain UPC, let me copy this UPC here. And if I click this filters button, you can paste that into this, and that way it'll only show any transactions or I should say any header transactions related to that UPC. But once again, once you click on that, it's just going to show you the scans for each one that you click. So there's our ship scans, and here's our validate scans for that UPC. To clear a filter, simply click that red X, and you're back to the four header transactions. So you can filter on any of these fields. You can also export this data. So if I were to click export, it's going to create a CSV file. You can also click export here to create a CSV file. And please note that that will respect any filters that you apply. So one other option we have here is view data all. That's going to show all the individual scans. So if you're actually looking to filter based on any transaction that had this UPC, I can do that. It's going to show all of our transactions for that particular UPC. So if we just slide over, there's our validate, there's our ship. And if we did do an export in that case, we would see only transactions for that UPC. So here's our CSV file showing our export of that particular filter. So I'll just go back to view data by scans. And that's our summary of the GS1 validation application.